Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ray from iPhoneRepair.com and this is how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch A4 device on iOS 5.0.1 using Red Snow. Alright, as always, remember to back up your device to iTunes if you do not want to lose any of your information or media. First, you may want to start off by right-clicking and running as administrator. Once you do that, you want to make sure that your iPhone is connected to your computer via USB and is off. Then hit Next. Once you do that, you'll press and hold the power key for three seconds without releasing the power key. You then hold the home key and the power button for several seconds. Then you'll release the power key, but keep holding the home key until your device goes into DFU mode. You'll know it's in DFU mode because the screen will go black. You'll then see identifying on your screen. Now this process can take a while. Now of course I sped it up for the video so you didn't have to sit here this whole time, but it can take a little while, so be patient. Once it's done, you'll see that Red Snow is doing its thing. It's uploading the first stage and then we'll upload the second stage. Then it's waiting for the device to reboot. It's patching the kernel. And again, this all takes a little while, so just be patient. Uh, let it do its thing. Don't interrupt it. It may seem like it hangs up a few times, but just please do not interrupt it. Alright, now we're moving along. It's going a little bit quicker. Alright, now on this screen you'll want to go ahead and install Cydia. If you have a fresh install of iOS 5.0.1, you'll go ahead and choose Install Cydia. And then hit Next. Now just wait for your iPhone to reboot. It'll upload the RAM disk. This process is fairly fast. It doesn't take too long. One last reboot, and you're done. So once you're done, this is what you should see on your iPhone screen. It's a bunch of script and everything. And then you'll see that it's uh, jailbreaking a file system, moving applications. Moving applications can take a while. Again, be patient. It may stay hung on that screen. I sped it up for the video so you didn't have to watch all of it. Uh, but just wait for that. Then it will go to installing bundles, and then after it's installed the bundles, it will then reboot. Now once your iPhone reboots, you want to go ahead and slide to unlock, and then you want to go to Cydia. And once you tap on Cydia, you'll go ahead and go through that basic setup process and choose what type of user that you are, which is pretty much a developer in my case, but you have different options that you can choose, a user or a hacker. And once you've done that, you're done. You have a jailbroken device on iOS 5.0.1.